Hi there, I'm John Leach, and you're watching Arc Fishing. Hey, welcome to another edition of Arc Fishing. I'm your host, John Leach. Today is December 24th, 2020. It's Christmas Eve. Might be the one of the last days I got fishing in 2020. It's currently 49 degrees out here in Perth County, Pennsylvania. It's supposed to be a high of 60 today. However, they're all calling for rain, and then later on heavy rain. Wind 15 to 20 miles per hour, gusts as high as 30 miles per hour. So I'm hoping to get out here. I was watching the radar. I think I got out here for a little bit. Try and catch some fish. I'm gonna use, um, let me phrase that. I'm gonna go for panfish. Uh, basically going to hang your pipes. My main target is crabby bass, yellow perch, white perch. Um, but I'll go for any bites. Um, pretty much do catch and release. If I catch crabbies, if I catch two or more, I might keep. Oh, you know, I can't. I forgot my fishing vest. I guess I'm doing catch and release only today. I haven't been fishing in a while. It's been several months since I went wade fishing. And uh, I remember anything with my fishing vest and my fishing streamers in there, so I guess I ain't keeping fish today. Well, any rate, let's go back here. And I know the water's gonna be cold, so I dressed extra warm. I got long underwear on, thick pair of jeans, two pair of socks, one's a thick pair of winter socks. I got several layers of shirts on a windbreaker, so make sure I was dressed appropriately. But we'll go back here, take a peek, and See what it looks like and hopefully get some fish um, caught and released. So, see when I get in the water. Always remember, navigate life and go fishing. Alright, I'm at the lake. I'm really limited where I can fish. I wasn't expecting to still be ice on this lake, but there's a real thin layer of ice. And I'm clearly not going on the ice. I don't ice fish, I'm not going near the ice. So, there's a nice pocket here I can fish. I'm gonna start with Berkey Gulp. I'm either going to use this one, which is Watermelon Pearl, or Middle Black Shad. I think I'm going to start with the Middle Black Shad because I think that'll mimic the big fish in here. I'm going to try and match the hatch. The only question is whether they're in this little section of the lake because they're brand new. I just bought these at Cabela's. I've had a lot of success on Berkey Gulp over the years, so. And then I'm using the little, I'll show you here in a second, but I'm using a little one eighth ounce jig head. Hopefully you can see that. And uh just broke the gulp to see what happens. Okay, so there's my rig. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm to catch some panfish. So I'm bringing it bites. Primarily panfish. I'm sure this water's freaking freezing cold. Oh yeah, it's cold. Woo! I don't feel through my waders yet. That's a good thing. Ooh, that, that now I do. Oh yay. Yeah, I see how many split shots on me. Yeah, I don't know how this is gonna pan out. Freaking ah, it sucks. My I left my fishing vest at home and it has my split shots in it. So I'm really limited what I can do here today. I don't know if I'm using six or eight pound test. I think this is eight. I really wish it was six. I wonder if I should relocate to the Schuylkill River. I think we'll talk in Creek. At that point, I'm going to go home and get my vest. Man, I hate to relocate. But I might have to. I'm liking the setup though. This could potentially be a good trout setup. Ooh, that water's cold, man. I don't think I'm gonna be here very long. That water is freezing, man. I got long underwear on, a thick pair of Carhartt jeans, and I'm still feeling that water temperature. Yeah, something tells me I should have went to the creek of the river. I might relocate. You know what? Go to the main creek. That's right down the road. We're gonna relocate. You know what I'm thinking? Maiden Creek. That's what I'm thinking. Let's go relocate. I drove over the Maiden Creek. It was low, it was clear, it wasn't high or muddy. So, we're gonna relocate and see if we can get some panfish at the creek. 
Alright, back in the truck. I'm gonna relocate. Woo! That dump truck just made my windshield all filthy. At any rate, that's, sorry about the wind noise, but I'm hot, man. I need some cool air. But that little spot in the lake didn't pan out. I think the fish in the lake will be down to thermocline of deep water. So I'm gonna go down the creek below the dam. And uh, I think I have a better chance of catching fish. And I'm not gonna get any trophies there. I know that. I'm just gonna go for a bite. I might catch a little bit like rock bass, little smallmouth bass, bluegills, maybe some perch, whatever it hits. But I drove over the creek on the way here, and it looks very fishable. I like the way it looks. So, all right, I'll see when I get down there in the creek. All right, as you can see, I made it down to the creek. That's the bridge I drove over twice. Once to go to the lake and coming back. If you draw the bridge and look down here and see the creek. From up there it looks fishable. We'll see. When I get up here and get in the water. Alright, let's hope this is fishable and the fish are biting. Let's see what happens. Well, it's nice and clear. That's a good sign. Looks like it's at normal level. Summertime, this is usually a really good place. Those fish, while I swim down in the Schuylkill, might be in a creek. I mean, it might be down in the uh, deep holes of the Schuylkill River. But we'll see. You never know. There'll be some stragglers up here yet. All right. Let me get better lighting here. I relocate. I didn't see a single fish in there in the creek. But it's definitely fishable. It's nice and clear. It's normal level. I didn't see a fish. I didn't get a single hit. I'm thinking, oops, I almost missed my turn. I'm thinking, maybe they're down the river in a deep hole. So there's one section I can go hit. Last ditch effort. If that don't pan out, I'm just gonna go home and call it a day. It is what it is. Um, if I'd known the ahead of time, it would've been this nice. I would've charged the boat the boat up to the lake. I went for crappy bass then for sure, but we're going down here to the river. Oh, I can't turn on red here, yay. All right, we're going down here to the river and uh, try this one deep pull, this one pocket, and hopefully that pans out. If not, going home and calling it a day. So I'll see when I get down there. Put a picnic bench down here, that's funny. Alright. Don't know. Maybe I'll be able to order a little bit. But we'll try this pocket a little below the bridge, above the bridge, and hopefully pull at least something out of here. We'll see. Hope there's fish in here and they're biting. Too bad. But might not be deep enough. They might be in those really deep holes. Peg, baby. Oh, yeah, it's a freaking trout. Check that out. Yeah, baby. We didn't get skunked. Oh, I didn't expect a trout to be in here. I'm in the Schuylkill River. These are usually in the creek. Oh, man, beautiful trout. Oh, look at that, man. Let me see if I can get this on video on my phone. Right, I'm in the Schuylkill River. Just caught a beautiful brown trout. I was at Lake Onolone, 
nothing, Main Creek nothing, came here to Spookle River, and I was going to go for smallmouth, and look at this, beautiful brown trout. I'm guessing he's probably about 12 inches. Thanks for the fight party, that was freaking awesome. So I can get you unhooked. Awesome fight too. There we go. Oh, he's got teeth. Look at that beautiful trout, man. Look at that. I could legally take that home and eat it. But I have my stringer on me. You're a lucky day, buddy. I'm gonna let you live. I appreciate the fight. That was fantastic. Catch and release. Oh man, that just made my day. I was not expecting that. I was getting ready to leave too. It's funny how that works. Oh, that water is freezing cold. Oh, that's freaking awesome. Got him on the Berkeley Gulp. Oh man, that's freaking awesome. Well, that ain't my day. Thank you, Jesus. Boy, that has me happy.